Are you struggling to find just the right pillow for your neck and the way you sleep? Do you wake up and you have neck pain or your neck feels stiff and it feels like it's hard to get it moving in the morning? Well, I'm Dr. Amy with Physical Therapy for Everybody and June is neck month here at Physical Therapy for Everybody. And so I decided to do some different reviews on different pillows. I have had so many patients come and ask me about pillows and which pillow is right for them or which pillow I use or which pillow I recommend. And the truth of the matter is there's not one pillow that works well for everybody. And so I'm going to try to provide you with reviews of what worked for me um, and the way I sleep and who I think it would work for and who I think it would not work for. Um, many of the pillows that I will be trying, we have actually had in the clinic because patients have recommended them to me, or sometimes <laughs> in some cases, they've just dropped them off and said, get this pillow out of my life because I never want to see it again. However, that same pillow that got dropped off because somebody never wanted to see it again, another patient used and thought it was the best pillow they had ever had and they slept super well and they woke up and their neck felt fantastic. So they actually ended up going and buying one of those pillows. So that's what we're gonna be discussing this month. There is not one right pillow that works for everyone. Okay, that's, that's the big key takeaway of everything this month, but we are gonna help try to figure out which pillow might work best for you. Now, the caveat at the very beginning of all of this is that if you sleep on your stomach and you're looking for a pillow that works well for stomach sleepers, I'm gonna tell you, your neck is not going to be happy in the long term if you're sleeping on your stomach. When you're sleeping on your stomach, you're putting so much force, you're having to turn your head, so you can breathe, um, and you're putting so much force through the side of your neck. If it's not bothering you now, I guarantee it will be bothering you in the future. So the only pillow that I could recommend if you really need to be a stomach sleeper is one that supports your shoulders and has like a cutout, like as if you were on a massage table, if that makes sense. So it supports your head, but it has a cutout so you can breathe, but then it, well, it kind of lifts everything up. So it supports your shoulders. So that would be the only type of pillow that I could recommend um, if you are a, a stomach sleeper, because that is the only thing that would actually be safe for your neck. So I guess if you're a stomach sleeper and you really want to keep sleeping on your stomach, that is the pillow for you. And that's the only one that will work for you. So I guess maybe you're kind of taken care of as long as you're willing to um, get one of those pillows and, and use it every night. But if you're like the rest of us, you're either a back sleeper or a side sleeper, um, or more than likely you're kind of an all over the place sleeper. That's what I find with most people. Very few people, you know, go to sleep and wake up in the same position. Um, most of the time our bodies kind of want us to move a little bit during the night. And so we do. So really what we're looking for is that pillow that works for people who move around a lot during the night, but we will talk about, um, which pillows would be better, particularly if you are predominantly a side sleeper or predominantly a back sleeper. Okay, so this week we're starting with a pillow that I literally pulled off my bed this morning, which is a my pillow. Um, I got the my pillow probably a year or two ago. Um, oh gosh, it must have been two years ago now. Um, and I got it because one of my patients had been struggling to find a good pillow, and this was the one that she ended up with. And so I was like, okay, well you know, I kind of started my pillow journey at that point of trying to figure out different pillows, try different pillows, work with different pillows to try to figure out what would work for people. So, um, so I got the, the, my pillow, um, on their website, they help you figure out there's different colors. So you can figure out which one's best for you. I think I'm a green, um, but my husband is a different color. So, you know, there's, there's different, there's different colors and you get to kind of choose and they help walk you through that. So I've been using the MyPillow for, um, for a couple of years now. Um, obviously I have a pretty long neck. I am not a, I'm not a short neck person and I'm not a thick neck person. So my neck needs some good support during the night. 
um, which I like about the my pillow. So if you haven't ever seen one, it kind of has the um, the little I don't I don't know what they're called the little fluffies that are inside. It's not one solid piece like a normal pillow. It's individual pieces. What I really love about the my pillow is that you can wash it and then it really poofs back up. And I've got to say, after I wash it and it's really poofy, it has really good support even if I'm you know, moving from my side to my back. Now I'm predominantly a side sleeper, so it's really important to me to have that gap filled in. Um, I'm sometimes on my back though, so I don't want anything that's too high that's pushing my head up. But most of the time I'm on my side, so that's, that's my predominant position. If you were a back sleeper predominantly and occasionally on your side, I feel like the MyPillow would be really good for you um, because it does adjust because the little, the floofies inside move around. Um, and so you can kind of like sink into it and kind of get some, some support with that. So overall, um, the MyPillow is the, for me as a side sleeper with a long neck that needs support. I have found it to be the best pillow so far for me. Um, but we will go on this journey together over the next month and I will try a couple different pillows and um, give you my review after sleeping on them for a week, if I can tolerate them for a week. Um, and if not, <laughs> I will definitely tell you that, um, as well as giving you ideas for um, patients that they have worked for, or, or I should say types of necks, that they have worked for or that they haven't in the past. So what I would love for you to do is drop a comment below. If you have a pillow that you absolutely love that you feel like should be included in this review, um, please drop it below and who you think it would be best for. If you have tried the My Pillow and you liked it or you didn't, I would love for you to comment below and let us know um, what type of sleeper you are, if you're a side sleeper, if you're a back sleeper, stomach, um, and a little bit about your neck so that we understand who this is better, who the my pillow would work well for. The thing is, like I said at the beginning, pillows are super difficult. It's not just your pillow, it's your bed, it's how you sleep. There's so many factors that go into play that trying to say one pillow is good or bad, it, it, it doesn't work. Some pillows are good for some people and not good for others. So we really want to try to create this kind of classification system to help guide people. So if you're going to comment about the my pillow or about any pillow, please let us know um, a little bit about your sleep patterns so that we can um, look at that and see if that would work for us or not. All right. And if you have any questions, like I said, if you have any comments um, about the pillows, drop them below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. Or if you have any recommendations for pillows we should try, then please drop them below. All right. Have a great week. I'll be back next week with a new pillow. Bye.